Then I've got light here. What's up with my beard, man? Looks like. Alright, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, it is time for what I eat in a day on a recovery, I would say, mm -hmm. because I'm still recovering from my injury, but I just finished my first morning cardio. Now we're gonna have breakfast, and after that, I'm hitting the gym. We got now. We got. <laughs> we're gonna stir fry mussels. Mm -hmm. Mussels, bro. Muscles <laughs> and we're gonna turn it into an omelette. Yes. The thing is, I'm just gonna do the egg whites. Posture. Uh -huh. Posture. <laughs> Posture. We're gonna do the egg whites fried because the yeah. egg whites have anti nutrients and we do not want to eat them raw, ideally. Yeah. But the egg yolks that contain all the nutrients, those should be raw. Yes. And we're gonna keep them aside and add them to the omelette later on. And this is what I said in my previous video as well. It is such an amazing source of nutrients, proteins for vegans that consider to eat something else than plants. Mm -hmm. Because if you do not want to eat a sentient animal, I can understand that. I get that idea. I was there for four years, right? But hence, you have the option of eating mussels or oysters. It is an absolutely beneficial additive to your diet. A nice person. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, talking of which, we're using organic eggs. Free range, no antibiotics, no artificial growth hormone, no coloring, pure and high in nutrition, of course, and 100% generally natural, whatever that means. And healthy. <laughs> and healthy. Because in Thailand you can say healthy, not in America. Ah, true, see? Mm. Actually, it is legal to say healthy in mm. Thailand, mm. considering eggs. Mm. That's interesting. Okay, so we can do the dishes. Yeah, good thinking, Bobby. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting disciplined and domesticated, yeah. Yeah, that's yes. cool being in, living with a girl. See, that, do is, your dishes. that is the modern partnership. Huh? Exactly. Like the, the woman will do the dishes, but nowadays the woman fills <laughs> and the man does the dishes. <laughs> that's a new generation, baby. Equality. All sexes are equal. All sexes, yeah. All mm. sexes. The male, the female, the, the middle neutral. one. Capture every single moment here. Here we go. So, whee, that is beautiful. Wow. So I still eat carbohydrates for people that assume that I'm ketogenic now or fully carnivore primal. That's not the case. Mm. No, I still eat my carbs. Mm. I love carbs. And I'm eating rice for that matter. The white rice, as I said before, is very easily digestible and hot. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna top this off now with the raw egg yolks. So we preserve all the nutrients. Check this out. I say this is food porn right here. <laughs> this is really the secret ingredient right here. Mm. This is fish roe. Actually, this is flying fish roe. If I would have salmon roe on hand, I would take the salmon roe. Mm -hmm. But the salmon roe, to eat that every day, for that you have to be a billionaire basically. It is yeah. so pricey. Anyways, this here is the nutritional kick that we will Add on top of this omelette. Mm. Look at this. Wow. It is so nutritious. It is so delicious. Look at this. Unbelievable. You cut open the egg yolk and let it drizzle. Use it as a natural sauce. So, as you can see, I really didn't use any herbs now. Mm. No salt, no pepper. And we're going to give it a try. Mm. Wow. Wow, straight away wow. Mm. This is the first time that I'm trying those organic eggs. Yeah. This egg yolk is on another level. This is so good. Wow. This is so good. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is pure heaven. Mm. Wow. This is way better than expected. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely delicious. I think this is my favorite breakfast. Mm. Now, no more smoothie balls for me. <laughs> <laughs> Never again. <laughs> sure. This is so good. Mm. Well, wow. all right. Let's wrap it up. Should I get down? Hmm? Should I get down? Oh yeah, cut it off. <laughs> so, yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wow, it's so good.
first. You don't leave the bear alone anymore? No, it's my bear. <laughs> It's my first teddy bear. <laughs> Keep it for me. Okay, sure. Wee. <laughs> Wee. Double, double booby. Double booby. Booby in the front, booby in the back. That's what Bobby does. Bobby, Bobby in the, the front and Bobby in the back. <laughs> well, now, meal number two. We're gonna have a tilapia filet. It is pretty small as you can see, so this will give me around about 20 grams of protein and not much nutrition. There is no collagen in this. Essentially, other than protein, you do not find much other in this. So therefore, I'm going to supplement it with a little bit of tilapia fish skin, as you can see here. Collagen is very, very good if you are recovering, because I have partially torn tendons. I need to eat collagen, and this is the right medicine. Well, that's it. Let's do it. Should be hot enough. Boom. With the grace. White plate. <laughs> now I'm going to prepare my vegetables. I'm going to experiment a little bit with the lettuce. I know that back in the day, especially in the later months, I see it <laughs> on your face. Lettuce <laughs> brings back memories because <laughs> lettuce gave me. Explosive diarrhea mm. for eight months straight. Mm. Hence, I will just keep it as little as possible. This should be enough. It's okay. That's enough. That's alright. Yeah. So I'm gonna try it out. This is my first day reintroducing lettuce, and I'll see how it goes tomorrow. So this is by no means what I eat on a daily basis. Usually, I do not eat any vegetables. This is the first time that I use some <laughs> to please the carnivores and the vegans. Everybody wins. <laughs> So, just add a bit of fish oil on top of the lettuce. Again, just to bring in a little bit of more nutrients on top of that, because lettuce is pretty dry. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add a shot of coconut milk. Wow. Moisturizing a bit. There you go. Yes. Mm. Maybe a little bit more than expected. <laughs> and a shot of lime. Again, rice. Ooh. Okay, but well, it's it, too hot. Mm. Let's get to the fish. Hence, we're choosing the tilapia filet. Beautiful Ice. serve. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And now, to top it off, again, some carbohydrates. <laughs> carbohydrates. Carbohydrates. Here we go. <laughs> carbohydrates. White rice. Again, basically my only carbohydrate source at the moment, aside from bananas. <laughs> Sometimes papayas, and I don't know if I'm going to use it today, but I'm going to show it to you guys. Anyhow, raw honey. My absolute favorite since not being vegan anymore. How much was I missing honey? This was the favorite thing back in the day. This was my favorite part on my oatmeal. Eating oats without honey, I realized I don't really like oats. <laughs> I don't like oats at all. Actually, talking of which, why not, right? While we're at it, a sprinkle on the fish filet and so then lettuce. There we go. So that sums it up. 20 cups, 30 grams of protein, around about 10 grams of fat, and some anti-nutrients as well to balance it out. That is the finished product. I'm gonna give it a try. It smells really delicious. Ah, I have to say, I should have chosen the gorilla as a chef. It was really, really delicious. Just like it's really, really good. Mm. And the fish skin, mm. succulent. Really, really good. Really, really delicious. But now it's time to eat. Excusez-moi. Bon appétit. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> mm. Let me put my chain in so I don't look like a savage. <laughs> Are we on? Mm-hmm. Alright, welcome back to meal number three. We got some gluten-free organic rice pasta made from black rice. And look here, it is 
vegan as well. <laughs> this is our carb sauce. And for the protein and nutrients, we're going to choose red meat, beef to be precise. Can we see it? Mm -hmm. Here you go. And we're going to eat it. How will we eat it? What do you think? Uh, raw. Raw. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're going to slice it up, cut it up nicely. If I would have a grinder, I would make a steak tartare out of it. That would be perfect. But we just have this kitchen knife and I'm going to slice it up, cook the pasta, put the meat on top and maybe use a quail egg or so. Let's see what we're going to do for the sauce. Now that works out perfectly yeah. fine, so the vegans can tell me that we're not supposed to eat it. Time for the pasta! Let's go! Yes, I'm very good at this. <laughs> Check this out. We see a perfect earth as one where we are all able to eat great, healthy food, sustainably and respectfully, grown by farmers whose efforts allow them to take good care of their families. See, that is great. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely amazing. I like to support that, but I do not believe it. Honestly, just reading this package, I do not believe it. We all know that in grain production, there's much more bike. Honestly, you look at this. This is one dead animal, but I'm fairly convinced that this package took millions, if not billions, of lives. Insects, mice, and whatnot. Anyways, a little quick explanation, I wanted to mention this as well. I use this here as an energy source. This is not nutritious at all, zero. So if you're vegan and you just eat pasta, again, this is how you run into deficiencies. This is the energy source, this here, is the nutrients cost. Depends if you like it al dente or not cooked. You know the al dente test, right? Al dente. I'll say it. I don't know if that's going to work. Oh. Oh. oh! Al dente. <laughs> Al dente. That's very hygienic. It's perfect, yeah. Look it up. All the bacteria dies, but we said already, we do not need to kill the bacteria because this is healthy now. Come here, come here, please. Yes. Yes, my lord. Yes. Here I am. Mm. Oh my god, looks like serpents. Mm. Yeah, that's a parasite. <laughs> yeah, vegetable police told me so. Uh. He said when it smells and rots, it's perfectly fine to eat. Mm. And I've been throwing away perfectly fine meat. <laughs> On your bodybuilding yeah. life. Yeah, my loss. Yeah. Uh, I fucked up. <laughs> you did. You don't need spoon neither, just your mm -hmm. hands. Exactly. Yeah, we're well, really raw here. Oh, no, you make everything with your hands. Yeah, tastes better. Of course. A little bit more bacteria, even better. Yes, even more bacteria. <laughs> Never wash your hands. <laughs> Keep reusing. You're wasting bacteria if you do that. Mm. The human body is 80% bacteria. We need more bacteria. <laughs> Let's go for 100. Yes. Coconut milk. Top it off. Back to the raw honey. And nice. look at this little asses way, huh? <laughs> Makes a difference. It does make a difference. Here we go. Ooh la la. Ooh you you. A fine drizzle. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Then you know you have a pump. A pump? Yeah. Good. This here is a good recipe for healing. It's very yummy. Oh, it's so yummy. Creamy, so yummy. Creamy. Yes, that's the thing. welcome to the show. One thing about eating raw animal products is that you will step out of convincing your audience that this is so delicious and <laughs> so creamy because I am aware that this looks disgusting to people. Mm. This looks like dog food at best. I get it, I fully understand. This is about nourishing the body. I'm not trying to convince you that this is so creamy and you have to try it. Don't. All I can tell you is that this made a world of a difference in my recovery and in terms of my health. Since I'm eating raw meat, all I can say is that I feel stronger and healthier overall. But again, it's not a recommendation at all. Don't do what I do. Just watch. It is for entertainment purposes only. So, we're going to proceed here with quail eggs. This time around, we're not going to eat the shell. My mom will be happy that I'm not eating the shell. <laughs> my mom watched my video and she hated it. So that's all right. A little bit of calcium. Mm -hmm. 
Somebody told me, somebody posted, that I suck at cracking eggshells. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, it's true though. That's four years of veganism. What do you expect? He's like, you suck at cracking eggshells, bro. <laughs> I know. I'm aware. Pinch. Boop. This dish just gets better and better. <laughs> To quote the late Rich Piana, this meal is not for my enjoyment, goddammit. <laughs> God Do whatever it takes. <laughs> raw eggs and raw meat are served. And oh my god, look Beautiful. at this masterpiece. Eh? So yeah, again, for the balancing act of anti-nutrients. <laughs> now nah, we're just gonna make it look nice, huh? Eh? Mm. Why not? Why not? But it does look nice, I think. It does look nice, right? It appeals to us because we're herbivores. <laughs> now, but really, a little bit of color always goes a long way, I say. Isn't that something, people? Yes! Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Let's give it a go, let's give it a try. Where's my fork? There it is. Are you gonna try here? Ooh. Yeah, of course, I'm gonna try it here. And then we're gonna watch an episode of Vikings. Yes! yes. Sorry. <laughs> that was authentic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Ah, oh, and please, no spoilers in the comments. Yep. Okay, let's try it out. I'm just gonna go for the raw meat and the eggs first, like mm -hmm. so. Let's see if it needs anything else. It doesn't smell like much except of the Italian herbs. Mm. Yeah, it's really delicious. Mm. I have to say, the taste comes from the mustard though, I'm not yeah. gonna lie. The mustard definitely gives it a really, really nice flavor, but the meat itself is fresh. Mm. So a really good carrier mm -hmm. for the sauce. Delicious. You forgot the lettuce. Mm. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's really, really nice. Mm. I personally haven't seen a dish like this. So. Actually, everything that you ate today, I've never seen it. So it could be a new book recipe. You yeah, know? Me Maybe I should do a cookbook recipe. You should. What do you say? Yeah. Should we? Of course. Yeah. If you think I should make a cookbook, ebook, recipe, recipe ebook, <laughs> then post in the comments down below mm. and I'll hook you up. But that will take at least a couple of more months. <laughs> I'm so slow with my writing. I think it's you have to. Okay, give it a try. Ooh. So I'm not the only crazy person here. <laughs> Love it. Yes, go for it. Francis is really good. Uh -huh. Really does. Uh-huh. Mmm. some collagen, one of the supplements that I'm using right now, it is collagen peptide. I use this for my recovery, very good for the tendons. I'm going to mix it with some pea protein powder. I know many people gave me a lot of shit in my last video, they said I should stop using protein powders altogether. <laughs> and to be honest, I actually would choose to, but I still have three kilograms left of pea protein powder. At least a little bit of improvement because it is not soy protein anymore. Mm -hmm. So one scoop of this miracle drug. Here we go. Mm. Okay, and now <laughs> you will assume this meal is somewhat plant-based. I have to disappoint you yet again, because now, the bad news. Mm -hmm. So we have some yogurt here, it is from Thailand. It says fresh milk and I'm telling myself that it is raw dairy. I don't believe it is, but yeah, believing means achieving. <laughs> The reason why I'm using dairy, this comes to my own surprise, really no joke. I was talking to this bodybuilder and I was telling him about my digestive issues. He recommended to eat some yogurt, cultured milks, 
some sort of fermented milks here in Thailand and that will do the trick. First I didn't believe it because as everybody knows dairy is associated with digestive upset because of lactose but it really helped me. In terms of two days my digestive issues were completely resolved after introducing fermented milks and yogurts and since then I'm having yogurt basically every single day. The yogurt itself brings me around about 15 grams of protein. This is why I mixed it with the pea protein. And so in total we reach mm, solid 40 grams of protein. Mm. A lot of protein. <laughs> <laughs> protein bro. Yes. So let me give this a test. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Now it's really really good. This is my last meal. I'm not having any gut milk. No, nothing. I'm not having any carbohydrates with this meal because it is my last meal of the day. That means I do not need any carbohydrates to fuel anything. When you're going to bed, all you need is proteins and fats for recovery. You do not need carbohydrates. Carbohydrates should fuel your workouts and give you energy over the day. On top of that, if you abstain from carbohydrates two hours prior to your sleep, you will secrete more HGH human growth hormone and that is very anabolic and will fuel your gains while you're sleeping. So, who's the to that? Come on. People. Nobody. Right, so anyways, that's my last meal. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, guys, much love and peace.